what's going on everybody welcome to a brand new video on the channel today we are playing prison simulator prologue now we went ahead and played the demo a while back on the channel and i guarantee you this prologue is going to start out a little bit of the same with the same stuff that we played and then probably have some new uh stuff down the road as well so i really don't know but we're going to go ahead and find out together um big news here though as you guys can see we can actually create our own prisoners through the steam workshop so there's a lot of, um, probably you can make your own custom prisoners and stuff like that and all that fun stuff. So that'll be super cool to see. But uh, we got some new news here. Um, we can create gangs and all that fun stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and hit new game. All right, guys. So when you hit new game, you will get faced with this screen for difficulty. There are three different difficulties to the game. There's officer, which is the easy mode. Everything is prisoner's health. NPC damage is 20% and ammo amount is 200%. As you guys can see, go to Sergeant, we have Normal Mode, Prisoner's Health 50, NPC Damage is 40%, Ammo Amount is 150%, and then Captain, Prisoner's Health is 80%, NPC Damage is also at 80, and your Ammo Amount is at 100%. Let's go ahead and do Sergeant today, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with this in Normal Mode, and then maybe we could do Hard Mode, I'm not too sure if it's going to be the same thing or not, but uh, we'll just go ahead and start out with Sergeant. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what has changed and what has stayed the same in this game. All right, so welcome to the Prisoner Creator. Here you can choose the appearance of your convicts, which I think is super cool that uh, we can actually choose the convict's appearance in the game. I really do think that that is a cool thing that you can, you know, create your own prisoners instead of having, you know, like just randomly uh, generated people. But I also do feel like um, it'd be cool to have, like, randomly generated uh, prisoners as well. Some, some people that you don't create. Um, you know, on the top right, you can choose all that stuff and all that. And there is the Steam Workshop thing. So as of right now, I don't think there are any. Um, yeah, as of right now, there are not any because, uh, you know, the game is still in a prologue scheme. So we're just going to, you know, randomize all of them. You can select their name, <laughs> different voices. You got different body types <laughs> and all that. You can also choose, like, different skin colors and skin types and all that um i don't believe you can make any uh female ones um, okay. no i don't think you can make any female but we're just gonna <laughs> randomize them all so these are our 16 <laughs> prisoners in this uh prison let's go ahead and lock those in and let's go ahead and finish we can also do gang creator you choose who joins one of three gangs, blah, 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 blah. Um, we'll just randomize them all because I'm not really good at creating this type of stuff. So, um, oh boy, that's that dude. They're brother. These two are either brothers and sister or father and son. And they're all, um, um, yeah, they're in two different gangs. These guys are two different gangs, probably the same family. I don't know. We'll see. We'll finish this up and we'll head straight into the game. Alright, so welcome to Prison Simulator Prologue. Game is currently in development, so mechanics and general looks may change in the future. It also experience some bugs. Main task is carry out routines assigned to each day. Same thing we did in the last time. Most of your actions are evaluated by other guards and prisoners, which affects your level of respect. And then during your free time, you can do a whole bunch of random stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to the guard over here. We'll actually kind of get on this side, talk to him. All right, we already got some stuttering going on, I've noticed. Let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Bryant here. Pointing for duty, sir. <laughs> oh, we're on duty, but we don't stick to yes sirs that much. Oh, come on, How you're holding up? Feeling the pressure of your first day at work yet? I'm fine, thank you, though. It's a peaceful job for the most part, really. By the way, on the first day of work, everyone has a meeting with the warden, and he expects the same from you. Do you know where his office is? No. Do I check on the map? Alright. Or if you change it, something in your settings, you have to find it by yourself. Or you know what? It'll be best if I take you to him. So, by the way, you've joined the team at a slightly unusual time. Keep your eyes peeled and pay attention to the prisoners. Uh, 
just between the two of us, something's going on in the prison. I don't know exactly what, but watch yourself. Oh, Enough of that. Come on, follow me. Okay, I kind of want to know what's going on in the prison. Because, like, I joined at a very bad time. I've got 42% prisoner guard uh, a respect and only 22% um, prisoner respect, so that's not good. Hello, Mr. Warden, sir. How's it going? It's alright. I mean, it's not the best job. Let's say newcomers react in all sorts of ways when they start working here. I, I understand. What's the situation in the prison? Hi, subsidies. The prisoners are content. There are currently no outstanding issues. What are my duties? Let's start what you are doing today. Today you have a longer shift. That's great. Okay, a new prisoner is arriving in the morning. Take care of him. Check all documents, prints, photo, ID, data, everything you can. If they're legit, send him off to a cell block. Next, keep your eyes on the boys in the yard. Block B can really stir up, so be careful. In the afternoon, a new delivery of items from the prisoner's relatives arrives. Inspect them. You, can, you can't even imagine what their wives try to smuggle. Okay, I understand. Don't interrupt me. Finally gather some prisoners to work in the workshop and make sure they don't mess around. We need every penny we can make now to renovate the prison and buy new equipment. Take a break, drink some coffee, work out with the guys at the gym or something. Is that everything? Almost forgot. Go to the guys in the guards room in the afternoon. They'll instruct you on some skills that are worth knowing while you work here. Okay, you can go. You have a lot to do. Okay. So right now they want to go to the search room. I'm assuming is this way, if I remember correctly. I could become a police officer. <laughs> oh boy. Probably want to shut that just in case. Alright. So here is the search room. Start accepting new prisoners. Call the awaiting person with the microphone. Check the prisoner's fingerprints, ID, and name badge. Um, if everything's okay, confirm document. Otherwise, reject the application and call a guard with a microphone. Search the prisoner's al allowed personal belongings. Take out a list. Search how I'm basic equipment. And then call to inmate to the designated cell block. Okay, so. How's it going, buddy? Okay, so, Yuri Thompson, Yuri Thompson, number 22904, 22904, block A, 14 years, crime was rape, okay. So he's going to go to block A, fingerprints look like they match. Yeah, fingerprints look like they match. So compare date and fingerprints taken by police before the convict was committed to the facility. Put document away using E. If everything's correct, place the green stamp on it. Okay, yeah, it looks like everything is good, if I say so myself. Prisoner's belongings. Hmm. All right, that's good. Heart pills, good. What's that right there? We're going to take that. Secure means that you've confiscated the item. An official report to the prison take means that... And I gotta search the prisoner. Okay. Welcome to the prison, boy. Here you go. Okay, so that was easy. Oh, we got another prisoner? Okay. Alright, so pick up the folder. What do we got here? 
George Jones. That is correct. 658611. That's correct. 20 years for rape. Fingerprints look very similar. Yeah, they look good. Go to block C. Check compliance of the fingerprints. Check the correctness of the name data and check the ID number on the fingerprint sheet, which 658611. That is correct. So we are good there. He is going to get approved. Hmm. And he's only got shower gel. Doesn't look like anything's in there, so we are good there. We'll search you. Looks like he's good. Not okay, dead. so now we give him the supplies. Good to go. Call the garden. There we go. All right. Task has been completed. Now it's your free time. We know if someone has an exclamation point above his head, it means he has a quest for you. By doing side quests, you can earn money and gain respect. Other icons like fists or clouds connect to tasks which you have to complete. Beat someone up, character with a fist icon, or talk to somebody. Understood. Tick icon means you've completed your task. Check the map, blah, 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 blah. And interact with one of the available benches. And you can probably, you know, take a, take a nap or something. So there's a couple different or, uh, stuff we can do in our free time. Buy some food if need be. Um... Pick what you'd like to have. Okay. Understood. We can buy vending machine and all that fun stuff. So we're good there, I think. Yeah, we're good on health and stamina. So at the gym, you can improve your statistics. As far as the purchase equipment allows, the moment you can increase your stamina, blah, 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 blah. Press the left and right arrow keys. I'll turn them until the bar is full. All right, so gain 20 stamina from doing that. Okay, cool. So on the prison yard, your main task is to look for suspicious situations and react accordingly. Warning, direct force, disciplinary action. Pay attention to appropriate behavior and other infractions like sneaking, fighting, suspicious discussions, destroying property, urinating. If it's calm enough, you can relax, but there is a chance that you won't notice wrong situations. Pay attention to the time and the end of routine properly. You have to let the prisoners be outside for the minimum, minimum time. If you let them stay longer, your respect level will increase. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm in the prison yard. See, it looks like this guy has a quest for me. Seems like this guy has a quest. Sure, I'll get. I'll take some money. As I know, packages will come to the prison tomorrow, right? And you check what's inside. Is it possible to turn a blind eye onto one package? There will be a syringe. Let's say I recently. I really need everything from this package. I'll reward you, of course. Stick to the rules. Okay, so there is a fight going on behind us. It looks like. Well, I'm trying to figure out where my baton is. 
So your primary tool of direct force, you can't kill with them, you can pass by to attack. Well, I don't care if you don't talk to screws. To end the routine, choose a command rally. Okay. Come here, buddy. Hey! He's trying to beat me up, man. Well, your plan routines or emergencies, go to the briefing room. Get on the ground, dude. Knock it off. You'll be punished for your unacceptable behavior. Yes, I'm talking to you. No leaving the cell. Go to the briefing room and talk to the guard. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm ready for my daily report. All right, so I got $225 plus $125. Guards respect went up 5%. Prisoners respect went up 1%. Riot risk went down 2%, so not it's not bad at all. Okay, that's cool, though. Here, you and your friends can rest, look available intently, playing cards or darts. Okay. Well, that's cool. So I got to talk to this guy right here. Tell me to talk to you. I guess, yeah. How do they work? So they're nothing more than skills, which, by the way, would be very useful. Prisoners are twitchy. Try to solve conflicts by talking first. Makes sense. I can teach you, but you need two things first, skill points and money. You didn't think I'd tell our secrets for free, did you? What are the skill points? You get one every time you level up, and you level up after you gain some experience each day. When you're at a certain level, have enough skill points, and of course, the right money, you can buy a skill, which will help you do your job better or more easily. I think you're ready to get your first skill. How much does it cost? First one's on the house. It'll cost you only a skill point, which you should have at least one by now. Because you're new, you should be getting a little more sense right away. We'll start from the beginning. See for yourself. Searching and intimidating level one. I've got one skill point. A world you can trade with one or two inmates, depending how much respect they have for you. Able to compare various suspicious data. Odds are being offered bigger bribes are increased by 50. Alright, cool. Get it? Now you're going to handle those. Unruly prisoners a bit better. Makes sense. So you get it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I got it. You can always talk to me if you check something new to learn. Interesting events transpiring. I'm not talking, I'm only talking about diff difficult prisoners. If you ever happen to hear or see something you shouldn't have, well, you're going to decide for yourself, then just remember there are ways to make friends and enemies in here. And you don't want to have enemies among your superiors, believe me. Okay, well, that's different. You know, like, I don't think they should, you know, charge me to do stuff like that, but it is what it is, man. I will say this, though. The freaking dialogue in this game is weird. Like, um... They're speaking in a like a random language, and I don't even understand what on earth they're even talking about. So here's the search room. During this train, you have to check contents of packages for illegal contraband. Looks like there's only three. This is Donald Thompson's package. You say we'll search all the parcels, put the check parcels on the second shelf. Well, how do I... Is it this table? Must be this table. Okay, it's this table. 
Open the lid of the box. Yeah, I understand. We've done this before. So we got to take all this stuff, open it. Make sure there's nothing inside of it. We're good there. Looks like we're good on that. I don't see no contraband. I don't see no contraband. Heart pills. I don't see no contraband. So we are good with that. And let's do the last one here. We're not supposed to do the first one because we're going to gain some money from him for it. Can't check inside the toothpaste, which is fine. There's something. We're going to secure that pills. Looks like we're good on that. Good on that. I'm pretty sure I checked this one already. Yeah, this one had the pills in it. Everything's good there. And everything's good there. All right, this one's good to go. Put it down on the shelf. Check the parcels. So one responsible person in the shithole, some jerk lost prison keys. Take a quick stroll around and find this stuff as soon as you can before some prisoner finds it. Don't slack off. We don't have much time. Okay, so we got to go cell block Bravo. We'll go there first. Then we also have to talk to jo Donald Thompson. So we want to make sure they're not in cell block Bravo. In case of riot, do not look in here. They are coming. Do I report, like, the blood splatter? So, locker room. There's a set of keys right there as well. And then now we also have the prison yard to check. Currently, we're out here at the prison yard, and uh, we got to find another set of keys before prisoners find them, which it looks like they are right over. Take that. Right there. No problem. Bring those keys to the room at the end of the day, over and out. Wait, damn, you found, your pair, you found four pairs of keys, right? No, just three. One fu one pair is missing. Probably one of those idiots has lost them somewhere. Get back to work. Okay, well, it says I'm in free time, so, uh... Oh, I gotta talk to, uh... Uh, Mr. Smith here. Donald Thompson. If I can find the guy, I would. He's not... Well, maybe he is out here. No, he's not out here right now, so I gotta figure out where he's at. But there are a couple different other things we can do right now in our free time. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do some of those right now. Uh, well, they said we could find a bench, so let's go ahead and just skip the rest of your free time. Yeah, I do. We got an achievement for nap time, though. That's cool. Go to the cell block. Alright, so we are currently in the cell block. Routine's a little different from the morning one. Now you have to make sure that all the prisoners return to their cells. They should be in front of them as soon as you show up. Use a clicker to cross a prisoner off the list. When somebody isn't standing in under their cell, then just walks around, bring him out. It's best to remind him who's in charge around here. To count the prisoners, press Q and select the cl clicker. Approach each prisoner and select left mouse button to count them. Remember to close the cells when everyone is inside.
Free time's finished. Go to your cell. I said not being tied to your hat. Got a job, huh? I don't want to hear that. Go to your cell. Metal. Stop acting like. Why can't I get my baton? Get back to your cell. Yeah, I do gonna abuse you verbally. How you doing, boss? You ready? Ready for what? Ready to get kicked the hell out of your damn job because you let us mess up this lovely place. I don't know what you're talking about. Go to your cell. Go to your cell or I'll reach for my nightstick. Dude, you better stop that. Get back to your... Go to your cell, dude. I'm not playing around. Go to your cell. Go to your cell. You're gonna go to your cell, dude. I don't care. You're going to your cell. Be punished for your unacceptable behavior. Penalty of isolation. No pass. Alright, dude. Get back to your cell. Alright, one, get in there, go in there. Go. Go in your cell. Go, go. Go. Go, go. 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 Here's my guy. Alright, go back to your cell. Thank you, I appreciate it. Alright, dude, go go back to your cell. Next yard routine is in a few days, though. <laughs> go to your cell. Get out. All right, time to shut the door. There we go. Evening attendance check is completed. Go to the briefing room and talk to the guard. All right, briefing room. Here we are. Let's talk to old Alexander. Or is Bobby today? We done for today? Yes, sir. It's over for today. We got $150, 10% uh, respect from the guards, minus 4% from the prisoners. I don't really care about the prisoners' respect, to be honest with you. Riot risk went down 4% as well. All right, so we got to move. Looks like there is a fire um, that has happened. Let's go ahead and try to see what's going on. Holy crap. So we've got, okay, so we've got a riot going on. Some of the doors in the prison can become damaged and lock themselves. Sometimes it's the prisoners who make them that way to open such a door. Clean the lock first by pressing and holding. Then press default L and B when moving mark. Okay. Okay, so there is a riot going on right now. I don't have enough stamina to beat the prisoner. Apparently, this is not good. This is so not good. Get down, dude. Get on the ground, man. Get down.
There we go. Call for help. Yeah. Take over prison yard. Okay. Well, this is a this is a sh a bit major shit show to start the next half. In we got dead prisoners, prison guards. Um. Is there a fire? Do I have a fire extinguisher? <coughs> had to walk through that fire there. Had no other choice. Holy crap, dude. No, 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 no. Get on the ground, guys. Get down. Oh, yeah, this is more of a lethal force uh, thing. Oh, this dude's got a thing. Okay, this dude's got a deadly weapon. God. I'm just going to use the gun because you can use stun the prisoner, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so our health is like completely down right now. We gotta go find some more keys, it looks like. This is already turning into a major, major shit show right now. Okay, we got keys to find in all the prison yards. Uh, I'm gonna start using my firearm because I got no other choice. I'm out of stamina and my health is very, very low. So I'm gonna try to find a vending machine so we can get some food. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Need to make sure that no, okay. So here's a vending machine that actually works. I'm gonna need to get me some drinks. How do I, like, you know. I wanna know how I actually, you know, eat and stuff. Get back, guys, get back. Get back. So there were supposed to be keys in here. And then find keys in the canteen. Man, this lock picking stuff is like, it's cool and all, but it's also, you know, very difficult. Not, I wanna say difficult. Oh. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. No, 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 no. We're just gonna start using our riot gun. There's nobody else in here. Should be keys in here somewhere right here. What I want to know is how I'm supposed to eat. There we go. Okay, so I need to eat stuff. Take over the workshop. Okay, I can't do this all by myself. 
get back. Oh, I just died. Okay. So we just kind of respawn. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, this is not, not... This is not how I want to spend my day. Get down, dude. I need the workshop. Oh, it's back this way. I need to make sure everyone's out of this workshop. Okay, okay, okay. I need I need my uh, gun. Get on the ground, bro. Get on the ground. Whew. Boy, oh boy, that was intense. That was really friggin' intense. Y'all, I have no words. We literally just beat and killed so many damn prison guards. It ain't even, or not many prison guards. Prisoners, it ain't even funny, dude. Oh my god. Like, I don't, I have no words. I really have no words. And this dude's just gonna stand here, you know. Boys from the assault team are on their way. Want to call for a transport in the day? Do you want to search prison a bit more? I want to stay a little longer. Alright, uh, so I guess we can't stay longer. Not bad, not bad, but it could be better. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go to the next day. Glad it's over. Not bad at all. You're a big boy then. Yeah, I guess I could say I'm a big boy. Break up a riot single-handedly. Congrats. Thank you. Boys in the prison won't forget that. I'm talking about both sides. I forgot the warden man wants to see you. What does he want from me? I don't know. You should know your duties by now. Maybe he wants to remind you about them. Alright, well, I appreciate you walking me over there. I don't know what he wants from me, but I feel like this is not going to be good. I'm, I'm probably in trouble. I already know I'm in trouble. How's it going, your warden? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I know. I see that it has. I see that. Stroll there and see for yourself. Primarily, though, they destroyed multiple things in the prison. You probably didn't even see them yet. Okay. Check out, check it out, and then come to me, and we'll find some stuff to do. I understand. All right, so we got to go CCTV room. This is going to be new because we never had a CCTV room in the uh, demo. We didn't even have a riot like that in the demo, man. That was intense. That was that was very intense, dude. I will say that we ended up beating prisoners and everything like that. We got a blackout and I don't have to tell you how many fucked up things that can mean. This might have something to do with the ride a few days ago. Sneaky bastard must have playing something in the control room. We need you to check it out. Uh, so that's it? Okay, well that's it I guess. Oh, so I have to put my email in for a demo. Okay. Alright guys, well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. It was supposed to be two episodes, but with that happening, we're just going to keep it as one episode and all that fun stuff. So just, um, so yeah, it'll just be one episode for sure, but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. 
and all that fun stuff. Um, hopefully you guys do enjoy the game as well. If you do, add it to your wish list. And uh, if you play the prologue, you will get a special like a skin for a weapon and a baton if you enter your email in towards the end here. So um, do uh, you might be able to get something else if you fill out the questionnaire. I'm not 200% certain. But I do like the game so far, so if you guys do too, add it to your wish list. I'll have a link in the description down below for the game and the prologue if you guys do want to check it out as well. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace.